Hi YouTube, it's Tracy from Entrepreneur Girl and today for Tracy's Tuesday Tips, we're going to be talking about how to organize your office for maximum productivity. So I've been doing some research online to prove the theory that I think we all know to be true and that is that you are more productive in your profession and as a person if you have a clutter-free, clear office environment. I spent this last week totally redoing my office and taking video footage of it so you'll be taking a tour with me through my office here in a moment but I just wanted to talk to you about what I found. Some of the benefits that you will have if you have a clear and organized office space is that you will feel more in control of your workload, you will feel more competent in doing the workload, you will have higher productivity, defend against distractions, time saving because you have organization, less stress for you, which means better health, the overwhelming obstacles that you have to conquer with work actually seem more manageable. Clean and clear means that I have more time to spend with my family or driving my Jeep. So this is what you need to do with your office. The very first thing you need to do is purge. And I took it outside of the building and emptied the room. The first step is to empty out the whole room. Can you even believe that this fit in the room? I hired muscles, 20 bucks. Which is not is enough. It... <laughs> slave labor. 20 opinion. bucks of slave labor. It should be 20 bucks out and 20 bucks back in. They should vote in the comments. I'm cheap. They should vote. I work in thrift. That's my profession. <laughs> so we are emptying out the room. You want to paint the room if it needs it. A color that you love. It actually make your environment one that you love to be in. The second thing you're going to do is take everything off of your wall. This is a great time to change paint color. This room used to be like a limey yellow. And so a few months ago, I changed it to gray to match my, you know, decoration and um, entrepreneur girl colors. And then when I was putting the items back in, I was really selective. The only items that went back into my office were items that added value. Either personally they added value, like I enjoyed them, I get a sense of calm by them, you know, candles and decorations and that type of thing, or they added value to my work, you know, like the paper trays and the computer monitor, those types of things. No more do I have things in that office that are just sitting there not doing anything or that I'm going to get to or I don't have another place in the house for. Okay, so after we have cleared the room out and we have painted the walls the color that we want, we start moving back the big main pieces of furniture where we want them, things where we want them to be. Number two, you need an incoming catch it. For all the incoming work, all the incoming inventory, all the stuff that is constantly, daily being brought into your office, you need a method of handling that. I have things set in place for business items. I have a green business folder that I keep in my metal paper tray right by my computer, right in the main place where I sit. That's where all my business incoming goes into that folder. I also have a U.S. Postal Service bin. It sits to the left of my computer. And that's where all my personal to-do items, stuff that's coming in the office, things that need my attention, go in that. Place for my inventory. As you see in the video, I have boxes and boxes of books that were incoming inventory that were just stacking up because I've been in Texas, you know, I've been in Indiana, and that stuff was just compiling and it took over my office. So I designated a spot in my garage that even though it's cluttered in my garage, it's organized clutter, they're in rows and they're stacked, and I will simply take one box into my office as I'm listing inventory. The other thing I have is that ginormous trash can. I know that sounds silly, but I love that thing. It is inviting, it feels good to be throwing stuff away. I'm more apt to throw stuff away instead of hanging on to it or maybe I'll get to it later. I'm constantly filling that trash can and I don't have to empty it every week. You kind of cringe when you have to empty your trash can, it's flowing all over your floor. Get a big visual trash can that is right by where you sit. The third thing, my desktops. I have huge whole wall filled with desk now 
and you want to keep that space as clutter free as possible. Protect that space above all others because that is where you do your work. Speaking of desktops, I have one area where I do all my computer work. I have my computer monitors, all my cables, you know, the place where my computer plugs in. I have my docking stations for my phone and, you know, everything, all those cords and all that jumble where I just go, I sit, I do my computer work. But then I have another desk that's more empty and I can use that for anything creative, anything that seems overwhelming, insurmountable. I lay it out on that space and then it seems manageable to me like writing a book you have all that stuff in a little folder and you just look at it and it's like 200 pages in it and you're like oh my gosh you just kind of lay it all out and organize it and create piles and it it makes it more manageable it feels just clutter free and open in a place that you can just kind of really get some elbow room and dig in so I like having two desk spaces Four, the power system. I talk about making powerless and stuff all the time. I don't know what the right name is for it. That's just what I call it. But every morning when I wake up and have my morning coffee, the very first thing I do with my day is create a power list of things that have to be done that day. So it might be five items, it might be two really big items, but anything that absolutely has to be done, both personally and business, go on my power list. So if we have a dentist appointment that day, it goes on the power list because it has to be done. If I have to ship my eBay, that'll go on the power list. If I've been meaning you know, to deal with that insurance problem but haven't, it's got to go on the power list. It's got to be done today. And so that way I get a zero, you know, just a laser focus on what I need to do that day. Also in the video, you'll see right by my computer is that wire shelving system that I told you about. And I have my... Um, five goals that I'm really focusing in on this year. Those are the top five things I want to accomplish this year and I won't add another goal to it until I've taken one of those goals away. I've achieved it. So every day I look at my goals. I see where I am. You know, where am I on that virtual assistant? Do I need to make a phone call? Do I need to send an email message? And I get closer and closer to obtaining those five goals. Also in that um, area, I have my client folders, my email client folders. So front and center, every day I can be checking, where am I with that? What do I need to do? How are they doing? And I can look at it. I have my work folder. You know, these are the things I need to tend to today in my work incoming folder. Anything that's important is in one area. I know right where it is. It's right where I work and it gets accomplished. The last thing is keeping physical objects in drawers as much as you can. So you'll see my drawers, I keep big items like envelopes, FedEx envelopes, tape, you know, the poly bags, everything goes in its own drawer. I know right where they are, but all those big bulky things are hidden and out of sight and it feels so much better. And then all those little things or those frequently used things that you need all the time need to be really accessible. So I'm not digging through drawers for a pair of scissors that we use every day in our packing. The scissors and the pens are right there where I can just quick grab and use right at the station. So all those little things are in little bins or little organizers as you see and they're right out where you can see them, you can grab them and they're easy to use and they're easy to put back. And that keeps all the clutter off of your floor or stacks of it in the corner of your office. Everything has a place. You know where everything is. It feels great. I can't wait to go to work. I get in there. I'm excited about it. I can just move into that room. I love that room that much and it has made a world of difference. I simply can't work. I don't. I dread working. I procrastinate. I don't get much done. I don't feel like I can move and just mentally deal with it. And this space has made a big change for me. And so I really want today's tip to be about you thinking about the space that you work because where you work really does affect how you work. This right here is the staging area for videos and the video courses that I hope to be doing soon. So this is where I will sit and the lights around it have umbrellas that will diffuse the light so there aren't any shadows on the video but they're just kind of off to the side right now, so they're not in the way of the office space. In here, this is acting as an end table, but I actually utilize it for 
my padded envelopes, manila envelopes, storage bags, mailing envelopes. Then over here I have my mail bin so when I'm shipping off a lot of eBay orders I can carry them in there, load them into the car easily and take them into the post office. These are my personal books. These are my goal boards. There's one there and one there. You can see I just took everything off because I'm re working them as I've accomplished some goals and have added others. And this is how I make money. This is just kind of like my money board. And I add to that and take away. These are my measuring tapes. They are on hooks just attached to the wall so they're easy to find all the time. And I have just a book bag because it's amazing how many times you need to just grab a bag and go. These are three storage containers for miscellaneous office supplies. And these are our filing cabinets. Here's the big supplies that I just lean against this. It doesn't really fit anywhere else, like my cutter, my furniture wrap. That's the backpack I take everywhere with me as well. Those are the umbrellas. This is my stand for my iPhone when I used to video with it. This is my stand for my photography background. So when I'm going to list on eBay and I need to take pictures of my items, I simply pull those out and I either use the desk space to lay the white on. You've seen that in other videos that I've already done or now I can even use the couch. But right now, because I don't take photos every day for my eBay stuff, it stays on the side until I'm just doing a marathon photo day and then I pull it out. More books, because I love my books. All right, now this is the desk area. I love that it's the whole length of the room. It gives me a lot of elbow room and I really like that. I don't like to feel all crunched up. Go big or don't go at all. That's right. There's the mannequin. You've seen her in other videos. And here's the office space. So I use this clip for YouTube video notes or alongside my computer if I'm typing. Have my Dymo printer, label maker, my scale, my brother printer. And here's all my office supplies in an organized fashion. So these are some of the things, you know, I wanted to show you in this tip video because I have post-it notes, business cards, pens, paper clips, paper clips, thumbtacks. Everything has a place. And these are all things that I had sitting around the house. So the only thing I purchased new for this room was that couch that I got at a thrift store for $120 because I got it 30% off day. And then I bought those EG letters at Hobby Lobby, 50% off. And that sign, that love sign is also from Hobby Lobby. And then I got that YouTube emblem from eBay and the little talking sign that it's on from Walmart. 
Everything else, I take in pillows from other parts of the house, storage bins from other parts of the house, and just organized it. So everything in here, I use. If I don't use it, it's gone. And I've utilized every single space since I have to do a lot in here. I have to list and I have to take pictures and I have to do YouTube. And so I have to kind of divide my areas. This is another thing I did. I changed the knobs out. I got the knobs at Hobby Lobby for 50% off and I changed every knob out. Just makes it look nicer for very little money. So every drawer is designated. These are things I have to file. You saw that the tabs are off of my filing system because I'm redoing that. But every drawer has a specified thing. This is my tape. These are all my choking hazard bags for Amazon. These are all my paper, I mean my labels, I'm sorry, labels and photo paper. These are all my poly bags and other bags that I use for my shipping. all my paper for the printers and those are my business cards in here from from this to print my extras and then on top of this desk this is what I pay attention to every day this is where all the important stuff is I keep all of my business ideas in these notebooks so for every business idea I have, have, had, or I'm currently working on, they go in here. And it's just page after page after page of just notes or if I've watched a video or, you know, just personal notes, just anything. Um, print out things for coaching. And so these are my idea folders. I don't have pieces of paper sitting around everywhere. Everything is right here. And I work on those every single day. This is just a giant folder of business stuff. These are all business ideas, things that I need to address. So I hit a little bit of that every day because that's rather large. These are my power folders. I've heard me talk about those. I have five goals that I'm really determined to hit right now, and I have a folder for each of them. My virtual assistant, increasing my monthly income, my website launch, I want to write a book, and private label. These are my five goals that I'm working on currently, and I won't work on anything else until I accomplish one of these and can replace it. These are my email coaching clients, current clients and um, non-current clients that aren't active this month. And so this is really my action hub right here. So this is my space. This is where I work every day. You can see coffee. That's my power list I make in the morning. Things I want to get accomplished for that day no matter what working on my website currently, so you kind of see my notes from that. My second monitor, my speakers for my iPhone for music. In here and this, this is my personal stuff that I'm working on. This is kind of like my to-do list for just personal items, you know, returning my son's glasses, <laughs> those types of things. That is my ginormous trash can because I like big trash cans. And this is just my board. I have some personal pictures here. I have my schedule here. And it just feels like I can come in here and really think and work and be productive because it's clean and organized and fun and it feels good to me. 
I hope it was helpful. I hope you'll comment below and give some additional tips and subscribe if you haven't already. 